I never heard nothing like that about Har. Um, I know Har pretty well, and um, it's just not like him to, um, you know, he has he's a, he's a family guy. So mm. certain, I'm not, you know, not making saying that people and families don't never do wrong, but I haven't noticed him do much wrong. What's up, everybody? This is the world famous Ed Lover, and you are watching Forgotten Kings TV. That's right. Forgotten Kings TV. Come on, son. As we all know, bad boy back in the headlines. Like I said, we wanted to talk about this because here we go again. Um, it was reported today, former uh, bad boy president, Harve Pierre, uh, cool. mentioned in a new lawsuit accused of uh, allegedly grooming and sexually assaulting his assistant. Now, right now, the identity of this assistant hasn't been revealed. She's going by Jane Doe. What are your thoughts on this lawsuit, Mark? Well, 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 I read up on it. And the lawsuit, she said the, the Jane Doe, because I was really trying to figure out who this person could be. And I kind of know all of his assistants. So I, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm like, who is this? Who is this Jane Doe? And then I looked and I said, okay, well, she worked for uh, for her from 2016 to 2017. And then Harv also left Bad Boy in 2017. So obviously she only worked at Bad Boy for a year. Hmm. And, uh, and being that she's remaining, her name is Jane Doe. I mean, for a person who, who's been working for a company, let's say for a year, and they get in and automatically file claims or, or say that they've been um, sexually uh, um, harassed or whatever it may be. And then you have a company that's been going on for a long time. I never heard nothing like that about Har. Um, I know Har pretty well. And um, it's just not like him to, um, you know, he has, he's a, he's a family guy. So mm. certain things. I'm not, you know, not making saying that people and families don't never do wrong, but I haven't noticed him do much wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just it baffles me. It baffles me, and it, and I don't know if it's just another person that just may want to. Because in New York, they you have up until a certain day to uh, make all of these accusations before I think Friday is over. You won't be able to talk about, you know, bring these things up anymore right. with the statute of limitation. Mm -hmm. So we're dealing with with that and then we're dealing with um okay, have you ever have you ever had somebody uh you know you they you you buy something on your credit card and they wait to 180 days before they dispute it, but you have 183 days to do, dispute the charge. So they're waiting to dispute it on 180th day. Right. So you know, so it's almost like um it's like somebody, it just seems like, you know, she waiting until, because right now might be the time for someone to say something, but I'm waiting to see who who this person is myself. And if there is, and if it really does exist, because I, I don't know, he left in 2017. Mm. Not unless that was the reason why he left. Well, for those wondering what Mark is referring to, uh, there's an act that was passed recently called the Adult Survivors Act, right? Which um, basically gives uh, alleged sexual abuse victims a year to come forward, regardless of the statute of limitations they have until November 24th, to pretty much file their lawsuit. And um, that's what's happening right now. OK, um, but, you know, going off of what you're saying, sir. You know, a lot of people were caught off guard just by seeing his name. You know what I mean? Like, what? This is this is interesting. Um, you know, people anticipated more lawsuits, especially after, you know, Diddy settled so quickly. You know, it could create, a, you know, a domino effect, yeah, if you will. Real fast. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, this is this is very right, interesting, so man. How many people might want to settle fast, quick too? Now, you know what I mean. Just imagine how many people just want to come. Yeah, man, I'm trying to. I had somebody walk into my store one day and say they fell and tried to sue me. Mm. You know, what I'm saying? I I just bumped into the back of somebody's car one time, and then they tried to say they had to go to the hospital and have whiplash, and my insurance went up, and all of this. So people, not saying that it is not true, mm -hmm. but again. 
especially if she gonna claim make those claims and then remain anonymous. You know, at these times, right, right now, at this time, man, we don't know who's who. You know, but uh, I, I hope that I hope that what justice is served, or mm-hmm. what I hope both parties walk away with. You know, um, and I hope whoever is hurt. I guess if you have to pay for something, you have to pay. So if it's something that's true, then maybe it's just something he's going to have to go through. Um, period, man. Every man got to carry his own burden, man. He's carrying his cross. It just seemed like it's so much right now on them in the headlines. It's, it's, it's something, it's like dark cloud over that bad boy right now. You know, mm-hmm. I always felt like when I was signed to them, it was, that's how the label feels like. It feels like a dark cloud that just hovers over you. You know what I'm saying? And, and then maybe they're just getting exactly what it feels like when you have that on your, on your, over your head. Like when I have that over my head, this is exactly the way it feels. Man, you know, um, in the lawsuit, it's also mentioned that Bad Boy Entertainment, Bad Boy Records, and Comb Enterprises are listed as co uh, defendants in this lawsuit as well. Um, a statement was released. Basically saying that, you know, both of the employees are no longer working for Bad Boy. They were never notified about these uh, allegations and they're holding their own investigation. That's the official statement release. Like I said, they can't do no investigations right now. They're too busy. They already got several investigations at hand to get over. And I don't know if they can do an investigation because if they could have did an investigation, they could have did an investigation on the allegations that Cassie had, and they could have prevented that too. So I don't really know about the investigation, the investigative department. I don't mm. think it would be too official. All right, we the Knockout Kings of Karma. This your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Scrooge, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. You know, I know me old f***ing fuck with lambskin condoms. I don't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The f*** wrong with you? Aldi's, you shouldn't eat this f***. We don't know what the f*** that meat is. Real. I heard a nigga get in prison. That's not the, the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my ain't no point of both of us get I step up, look him right in his eyes. He go to pat me down. Twenty dollars, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> no sir. Punchline, punchline, punchline. Get out of the car. Give me a second.